Okay, what is the most awkward thing that's ever happened to you during the deed? Because I have a ton of them. Okay, but I want to hear yours, but I also want to share some of my clients. Because, I, of course, I took a poll, like an entirely random poll, and I want to share some of the most, like, the most relatable ones. Number one, the love tunnel air, right? Let's, the queef, the vagine fart. We've all heard it, right? And it's probably going to happen with, like, somebody who is, like, the first couple times, right? And you're like, <gasps> okay. Number two, he's not performing up to snuff. Now, I'm not saying this to pick on anyone. I'm just saying it can be awkward for the first, if you're not like really in a relationship, right? We're talking awkward. We're not picking on men. So before all you men come in my comments like, ah, stop, because it can be awkward for him just as much as it's awkward for her, right? Meaning he's not performing or it just could not be going in. Speaking of that, number three, nails. Girls, clip your nails. Okay, there is nothing worse than him waking up with cat scratch fever. And this also goes for him. We have very sensitive parts. Speaking of very sensitive parts, if neither one of you guys know each other's like special spot yet, right? Like, so maybe he doesn't know where to find it. Mm, he's like rapping like DJ Labia. Mm, mm. And speaking of DJ Labia, um, dirty talk may not always be as sexy as we think it is you know, snaps for attempting it. We've all said something that's a little bit too awkward in the bedroom. Um, so don't think you're alone, but we've all been like, you know, you rethink it for years and years and years. You're like, Oh my God, did I really say that? Um, but no, you're not alone. And speaking of not being alone, let's just talk about, we've all had one awkward putting on a condom experience. Anybody want to share their experience below?